What is good, Luxo fam? Not sure how many of you have played around with the browser extension yet, um, but highly recommend checking it out if you haven't because it's really, really cool and uh, super sleek and it's you know just kind of the early generation of you know what this technology can be. So first of all, you're gonna, um, you can see I have like a little banner and my PFP, a beautiful clone X, and I have my address here and then I have my name and then plus like some tags and if you hold over, you know, you can hover and flip around, you're gonna see your address plus a little bio and your, your, your links and you can, you know, you can customize that to your heart's content. Really, really cool stuff. And so to make the distinction, this, you know, you might think this is like MetaMask on OpenSea and, you know, you have your, your profile there with your, you know, you can have your PFP and your banner and a little, you know, your links. But that's, you know, that's in a closed wall garden, right? That's centralized. That's hosted on OpenSea so they could delete that and you could, you know, lose access to it. As opposed to this, it's completely decentralized. These changes are happening on the blockchain. So you can see activity like profile date change. I'm not sure what, what this was. Maybe am I changing my name? And uh, you can see the advanced view. There's the network, the blockchain, execution, all this information, the, the GUI, the transaction hash, the set data, all this stuff. This is, uh, so this was a transaction on the blockchain. So that's, there's beauty in that, right? But another wonderful thing about that is, wait, let me see, you can see right here, I have zero lux in this wallet. No text lux, um, but I was still able to make transactions on the blockchain. Wow, how is that possible? Well, it's called the relay services, which is another great you know advantage to this whole system is that you can, you know, Luxo is doing all this on the back end for me. They're creating my profile, AKA wallet, right? But it's more advanced. And they're also paying that transaction fee for me. So you can see how simple it would be to integrate this into like a web two site. And it's all done on the back end for you. You don't even know you're using the blockchain, right? That's the beauty of this system. So yeah, so then it has a couple of sections down here already. This, this browser extension looks like you can make some, you know, adjustments to that and then also the universal receiver delegate which is really really cool uh, let me turn some of these on yeah so this would be you can you can customize the way you know your profile and wallet talk to other profiles and wallets um, and other platforms and, and websites and and you can change permissions so it's like this is tiered layered security so you could go into permission well, I don't think you can do that yet but you can go into permissions for instance and change you know, saying like, okay, well, I want, you know, my $100 of stablecoin to be, you know, a hot wallet outer layer that can interact with anything without, you know, without too much approval needed. And then all the way down to like your vault, which is like nothing can access that except for your hard wallet or your multi-sig or your, you know, whatever. And then, um, so that's, yeah, that's such a, the possibilities are endless, right? And, and within, with this like receiver delegate, this is how your, your profile talks to other profiles. So you could set data and give it, you know, you can write specific smart contract information for your, your profile, which is the beautiful, you know, thing of ERC-725 is it's like infinite data, so, you know, so whatever your heart can come up with, you know, you can, you can make. So you could say something like deny, whoops, deny scam, NFTs, boom, you'd add it, yada, yada. And then, so, you know, at that point, any scam NFT, you know, you could have it set like, okay, I want to have an approval list, you know, and you could use somebody else's list, make your own, whatever. You could have an approval list and it's like, it, it could just deny anything that's not on your list. So you're not getting those atrocious random NFTs, you know, sent to your wallet, making it look disgusting. But then also those are dangerous things sitting in your wallet, right? Because if you ever interact with them, you can be giving access to somebody and that's, you know, that's one of the really scary things about, you know, the current generation of technology that we're using. But, you know, you can definitely see the writings on the wall. Um, the, the, the user experience is going to be changing finally in this space and it's going to be customizable. So, yeah. Anyways, I definitely recommend, you know, checking it out. And uh, thanks, for, thanks for tuning in and uh, enjoy your day.